uh, my volunteer role with the Restoration Trust is quite wide ranging, really, um, uh, from graphic design through to writing blogs, um, th to producing books. It's 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 been quite a journey, actually. Uh, I volunteer because um, a bit. I, I mean, as a person with long-term mental health, um, I can I can sink into myself, and I will get into the point where um, I don't go out, and, and that's not good. Um, so, what I get out of the Vet Restoration Trust is the connection with other people, um, getting outside, doing things, being appreciative of the local culture and the local heritage we have. Well, the, the volunteer job at the Restoration Trust sort of grew organically, really. Um, I often used to talk to Laura Drysdale, who's the CEO, about my interests. I mean, uh, Laura likes her music as well and things. And she said, well, why don't you do... The first thing I did, actually, was a newsletter for them. And uh, it sort of went from there. So in, I don't think there was actually a volunteer role. It, it sort of, I think it was needed. I think there was a need for doing something that combined communications and photography and and writing but she didn't sort of really put a finger on it and then I sort of came along and uh, much to my delight you know for a guy who was quite media centric and not really interested in that kind of thing it, it's made me a kind of it's at work in my mind and made me a better person in terms of the way I relate to people um, and what I want to see people achieving for themselves you know and there's, there's nothing better than seeing you know someone really achieve something and learn something and be so happy about it. The point of the Restoration Trust, or what I sort of get from it and other people get from it, you can be creative, but you don't have to do it through, you know, just being stuck in front of a laptop. You can do it out in nature. You can do it, um, you can do it by just sitting there and sketching. And one thing I started doing again, um, we went to, we had a, a month long archeological dig at Arming Hall. I hadn't drawn since I was at college, and, so, and I don't know why, I just sort of picked up a, a sketchbook and started drawing, and uh, I thought, well, actually, this is, this is pretty bloody good, you know, and, uh, and it was just, and that was, that was so far away from just sitting there and sort of, you know, pressing buttons and stuff. And actually, as I said, you know, far more fulfilling as well. For me, it's, it's putting creativity back into a kind of group kind of context, you know, making it a mutually rewarding thing that's what I wasn't doing before and and, and that's what I get from it now the quite, one of the quite moving things that happened um, at Arming Hall uh, a lady um, who's no longer with us uh, she she was so overawed because she amongst all the excavations she found an actual Roman coin and um, uh, in one of the in the Armageddon book I did, I interviewed her, and she was literally her heart was going like this, and she said, "Oh, it's amazing! Um, you know, this is something off my bucket list. You know, it's, it's, it's something I've always wanted to find—a Roman coin, a genuine Roman coin." I mean, that was profoundly moving because you know, you know that she'd had that, she'd had the moment she'd always wanted, um, and she'd shared it with everyone, and, and made her life better. I think. Uh, the main bit of advice I would have for future volunteers is do it because you will get something out of it. You know, I mean, I just just throw yourself into it and go with it. Um, I would recommend wholeheartedly being a, a volunteer to friends, um, family, anyone, because I, I think it's, it, it, you know, if I can put it in a nutshell, it makes you a better person. You know, and I, I, I certainly recognize that in myself. and. Um, but what, what is what is good about it is it's like, you know, and it's a cliche probably, but you get this kind of sign of sense of a kind of family community, you know. If you like, I think the Restoration Trust, is, that's what it's about. It's about making communities or if people are disenfranchised and feel isolated and feel cut off, come and join our community, you know, because there's a community waiting for you. Um, and within that community, You'll have all those sorts of emotions going on and all those sorts of kind of experiences. You know.